First time since becoming a pro. Well, there'll be family and friends in the stands, and LT will get to play against his boyhood hero, Emmett Smith. I grew up watching Emmett Smith. I went to his football camp as a kid. You know, and I remember all them things, and now just to be on the same field with Emmitt Smith, I'm a rookie, you know, he's going into whatever year he's going into, and, you know, it's just going to be an exciting time for me. Hopefully I can outrush him, though, so I can have something to call him on and tell him about. <laughs> yeah, you go, Ladanian, and what a weekend this might have been if it weren't for the tragic events of last week. Had games not been postponed, Padre ticket holders might have seen Tony Gwynn's final home game, Barry's 70th home run, and maybe even Ricky Henderson's 3,000th hit all in one weekend. Tony Gwynn may not want to bat again at home this year. How can he top this on Thanks Tony weekend? He's pinch hitting here with the bases loaded in the seventh. Giants clinging to a 2-0 lead when Tony singles in the hole between first and second. That will chase home two. Game tied at two. Tony leads to a standing ovation with his 15th and 16th RBI of the season. Tony, the first active coach in college baseball to get a hit in the major league game. Padres would get another run to lead 3-2, heading to the eighth, but Jeremy Fikach gives up the game-tying home run right here off the bat of Calvin Murray with tied at three. Moments later, look at Andres Galarraga put a charge into this thing. That's for the lead, folks, for watch Ray Lankford in center. Yeah, it's routine. Ball game stays tied. We move to the bottom of the tenth. Mike Darth plate. One game-winning shot to his credit this year. Could it be? Could it be? Calvin Murphy back to the wall. Leaps and off his glove over the wall. Game-winning home run. Padres win it 4-3 to three tonight in 10 innings. Pods deny the Giants a chance to move within a game of first place Arizona. Pods 8-1 in extra inning games this year. Mike Dar, both his homers this season have been game winners. Hey, let's head into the locker room. No, I just told myself, he threw me a first pitch fastball, you know, I'm going to take this swing at it. He threw me a fastball out over the plate, and he got a good piece of wood on it. It's a situational that bad, you know? And the bottom line is, is you know, you want to try to do something aggressive and try to get, get the runs in. And, uh, you know, not only did the two runs score, but Ray was able to get all the way to third. And sack fly, the next at bat got us the lead. And so